Welcome back, everyone. It's Abdali here with more Detective Pikachu. All right, so what we found out is that we got to get these uh, these puppies together. We got to get the puppies together and see what's going on over here. So let's do it. Is the puppy in the dumpster? Nope. Uh, the mama said that there was like a little bush that the puppy likes to play in. So maybe it's like sleeping in a bush over here. Or maybe I just tell this puppy to go back home. A hey, Poochiana. Uh, don't get in the way when I'm playing, it says. Okay. Dude, what? Where, oh, where do I find... I was looking everywhere over there, but... Okay, um... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. What do you have to say to yourself? Okay. Come on now, you can't hold back. You can always talk to me, you know? Yeah. I'm not sending my signal. I don't need to talk to you, unless you know where that other Poochie is. Alright, well, let's look around a little bit. What are you doing here? How did you get on the, the bench? Who put it here? It's still unconscious. Alright, tickle it with a black feather. Try it out, tickle it. There's no sign of it waking up. Huh, <gasps> I see something moving! You see that? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Something is moving over there. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Good thing! There it is! Whoa! Whoops! Uh, Pikachu, that pup. Hi, it's nap time. Mighty Anna has been looking for you. Hopefully I'll sleep quietly now. Let's go have a look at the pond. Alright, so if I wasn't paying attention to the screen rumbling in the bushes over there, I would have missed that. Run! Alright, alright, we're running, we're running, we're running. Hey, Mom and the two babies! It seems uh, that they're sleeping comfortably. Let's let them be. Yeah, good idea. Okay, let's leave them be. So now that Apom in the tree might have some answers. You! Uh, now that Poochian is sleeping, I guess you've been freed up. Oh, good for you. Well, tell me about the Apom in front of the station. Uh, your pal took off with a necklace. Know anything about that? Oh, you've been stuck in the treetop all day, so you don't know about your pal. Mm, okay. A likely story. Uh, we heard that there was some kind of fight. Did you happen... Uh, did you see something with uh, Murkrow? Ah, uh, so when you were playing with your pal a little while ago, you inadvertently climbed the tree that Murkrow lives in. Murkrow attacked because it said you were intruding on its territory, and since then, the Apom and Murkrow in the park always fight whenever they see each other. That makes sense. Thanks. Tell me about the Murkrow's nest. Which tree was it in? The thick tree near the pond, huh? Thanks. Okay, we know where the nest is. Things are getting closer. Tell me about the black feather. Yeah, what's that? It's Murkrow's? Really? Oh, you guys quarrel all the time, so there's no mistaking it, huh? Great. Well, they know a lot about this. That was really good. We got a lot of clues off of that. So Murkrow feather confirmed Apom messes around with their tree, and now they've been at war with each other. In the pond area. Okay. So, what? You! What? I'm kind of busy here. Yeah, well, guess what? Tell me about the APOM. Seems like they were in a quarrel. What did you see? I haven't seen anything. We done? I'm busy. This guy? What's he so busy with? Yeah, he's so busy with stealing necklaces from birds. He's the one! Pikachu Thunderbolt! Here, do you recognize his black feather? Yo, Pikachu Thunderbolt this guy. Hmm, seems pretty absent-minded. Yeah, 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 say it louder to the people in back. This guy's mean. Yo, tell me about your actions. What are you up to? I'm looking for something. I seem to have dropped my precious pen. Sorry. Thank you very much. <laughs> uh, this guy's also looking for something. He's missing for his pen. Oh, it's so precious. Well, too bad. Good luck. I will never help you find your pen with that attitude. Unkind, sir. What about you? Little P-Dove. Eats, sleeps, and flies away. <laughs> Just like the pigeons in town. Ah, the P-Dove. Seems uh, like they flew away because you startled them. Oh, sorry about that. That's right, Tim. Uh, you let our suspects get away. <laughs> Pikachu, you're just as guilty as I am of that. Sorry we made them fly away. They're P-Dove, right? What cute Pokemon. Yeah, aren't they? I'm glad to see that you appreciate them. Uh, there are Pito everywhere. Is this your first time seeing one? Yeah, there weren't any in the town that I lived in. Oh, right, you came from far away. Most of the Pokemon in Rhyme City 
Must seem strange to you. Hopefully, we can gather the p dove again somehow. How about you ask this guy? All right, man. Hmm. Yeah, yeah, tell me about the apom. It seems that apom was in a quarrel at, uh, at the tree by the fountain. Have you seen anything? No, I didn't notice anything. I've been feeding Pete up this whole time. Okay, what about this feather? Uh, yeah, I don't know. Uh, although the backside of Pete of does look black. Is that right? Thank you. Uh, yeah. Let's see, about the necklace. Uh, did you see a necklace? No, I haven't. Did you lose it? No, it's taken by the APOM. Oh, that sounds rough. It's unusual to see APOM in front of the station. Normally, they don't leave the park. Uh, they're always in trees. Hmm, must have been a reason why they appeared in front of the station. Talking about the p -dub. Uh, well, if I scatter food for them, I think they'll come to me. The p are used to me. Food? Yeah, you can get it at the cafe, uh, the cafe at the park. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Let's go get that food. All right, so we have to gather the p for some reason, because we have to check its back, even though we have hard confirmation that it's already a Murkrow feather. Like, why do I have to do this? Oh, Scraggy! Yo, and a kid playing soccer together? Yo, let me play! Scraggy. Always playing in the park. Always. All right, Scraggy, what do you know about the necklace? Uh, what? You don't remember kicking it or seeing it? All right. Tell me about the apom. Uh, recently, there have been fewer pranks, but on the other hand, it has started to do uh, more mean-spirited ones. Uh, but you had your eye on someone, and they may have taken the necklace? Oh, that's helpful. Thanks. Tell me about the kid. Is that your partner? Oh, the ball came flying at Scraggy. Scraggy kicked it, and they became friends. Ever since then, Scraggy's been coaching him. Tell me about the p -dub. You've run into them so many times, but they're still aloof? Okay. Scraggy's got nothing for me. Kid! <laughs> I'm just standing right here. Oh, I can talk to the kid. Tell me about the a apom. What do you know about it? A fight? I didn't notice anything like that. I've been practicing my passing with Scraggy here for quite a while. Oh, thanks. All right, tell me about the black feather. Have you ever seen a black feather like this? It's pitch black, huh? I feel like I've seen it somewhere. I don't know. What about the necklace? You got any clues? Nope. Okay, kid. See ya. All right. I guess we're going to the trash can. No, we're going to go to the old man. Yes? All right, tell me about the APOM. Oh, there was a fight? I didn't know about today. Uh, but the APOM seemed to uh, be inferior since Mighty Anna started living in the park. They really started to cut loose in areas without Mighty Anna. They play so many pranks that it has led to more and more fights. Oh, man. Uh, tell me about the black feather. Do you recognize the black feather? Maybe Talo. Well, I feel like maybe I've seen it uh, where the pond is on the opposite side of the park. Like, dude, I already know, man. I got the answers. Oh, hi! There's a Talo! Cute! Preening it is its favorite pastime. Oh, cutie. Look at this little baby. Hi. Tell me about the necklace. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Is that right? Thanks. Uh, it says it wouldn't look for stuff on the ground. It sure does put on airs. Okay, tell me about the black feather. What did it say? Well, it said it doesn't want its pretty feathers to be touched by your dirty hands. Uh, seems pretty severe. I, I guess it won't show us. Okay, you're of no help. You two! What's up? Alright, we're looking for a necklace. Is something you lost? I haven't seen any necklaces except for the one she's wearing. Okay, tell me about a black feather. Do you recognize this? The tail around here are kind of black. But maybe the tail of feathers are more beautiful. They're always preening, so there's lots of feathers lying around when they're done. Ah, so they lose them when they're preening. If so many fell, I'm not sure they'd be all gone. You, with a necklace. Can I help you? Yeah, we're looking for a necklace. Oh, I have one on myself. Is that what you mean? No, this one has a blue decoration on it. Oh, sorry, I haven't seen it. Okay, how about this black feather? Tell me more. Maybe Talo? They must fly around here. I do think black feathers are pretty. Talo, thank you. It's Murkrow. I know it's Murkrow. Why are we talking to these people? Just give me the food. Who are you? Welcome. Would you like to order something? I would like some food for the birds. Place an order. Oh, time for a break. In that case, order a coffee for me too. Oh, you drink coffee? Yeah, I don't just drink it. I love it. So order me one up. 
Uh, okay, two coffees, please. Got it. Slurpuff, two coffees, please. Oh, look at that. The best taste tester. Look at that tongue hanging out. Okay, what are you doing here? Oh, nice work. Uh, this is the first time I've seen a Pokemon drink coffee. Hey, Tim, delicious things aren't limited to Pokemon or people. Drinking coffee under a blue sky, isn't it awesome? Of course, I know a better cafe than this one. That was it. Hello. Uh, okay, you know about a necklace, Slurpuff? Uh, no, it just smells normal. I guess you haven't seen it. Okay, thanks. How about a black feather? Do you know whose feather this is? Oh, you can tell, you can't tell because my smell is on it? Oh, thanks. Tell me about the coffee. The coffee was good. Keep it the good work. I just complimented. And then about work. Have you had a lot of customers? Pretty busy? Ah, so it's mostly people here. Well, I guess it's a cafe for people, isn't it? Slurpuff is no use. Okay, how about you? I need bird food. Yeah, yeah, give me pita food. So I heard there's a way to get pita of some food. Yeah. Uh, we have some portions made from stuff like scraps of bread. You can have some if you'd like. Thank you. Yeah, I got P-Dubs food. All right, here's, tell me about the coffee. The coffee was delish. Pikachu liked it too, I think. Pikachu did? Never mind. It's a nice shop. You gave coffee to a Pikachu? Fascinating. Uh, are there any Pokemon with black feathers in this park? Uh, well, Murkrow is dark black, as is the backside of P-Dub, and Taylor's feathers are pretty dark too. Okay, well, we have the pita food, so let's go over here and see if we can shake some uh, in front of the old man. Oh, can I sit down? Huh, this is? Good job. Maybe it's a tailo feather. Oh, okay. Well, it doesn't look like the same feather. What's that in the bush? Who's in here? Tepig? <laughs> Filled with healthy energy. What's Tepig doing in the bush, man? Tepig. I have something to say. Uh, yeah, yeah, about the necklace. Okay, we're looking for the necklace. No, it's not something you could eat. Okay, so you haven't seen it. Tell me about the feather. Uh, no, don't eat it. Don't even taste it. Whew. Uh, we followed through on key evidence. Uh, it says it feels like it's seen it before, but it's not sure. Tepig, what do you know, man? What's the point? Why are you hiding in the bush? Oh, you're looking for berries. Did you find any? Oh, uh, you'll give us something you found? Oh, it's a coin. Thanks. Okay. Do I have the coin? I don't remember. Why didn't I get a pop-up on screen that shows the coin? What am I going to do with the coin? It's a clue for something. I don't know. All right. We got some pita food. Come here, old man. Oh, you got some food. Yeah, here it is. Okay, stand back a ways. There we go. George, Huey, McCoy. <laughs> Dude named one McCoy. Oh, they're back. Wow, Huey. Don't don't sleep on Huey, man. Oh, so soothing. I've only relaxed when I'm playing with PETA. They're so cute. George! Huey! McCoy! This guy seems pretty tired. Uh, yeah, let's keep quiet for his sake. Okay. Hey, PETA, did you attack Apom or something? Huh, you saw Apom, but don't remember if you attacked it or not. Okay, this guy's a bird brain who forgets everything immediately. Okay, then, we'll just have to take a feather that looks like it's about to come out. Okay, so we have a pedo feather. Great. Oh, hello. Are you still looking for your pen? Okay, so we have a Taylor feather. We have a pedo feather. We don't have a Murkrow feather. So how do we get a Murkrow feather? Here we go. Oh, is this it? Oh no, not the same. This pit of feather has a lot more gray in it than it does black. Yeah? Uh-huh, who's the owner of the feather? None of these guys. I don't... I can't answer that because I have not physically seen a Murkrow. Um, what's wrong? I uh, no. Where am I seeing a Murkrow? Well, there's supposed to be, like, a big tree in the... There's, like, a thick tree inside the... In this little area. Where a Murkrow could maybe be hiding? Uh, yeah, I don't know. Oh, 
Looking in the dumpster? Nope. Whew, you're heavier than I thought. How rude. That was a big help, thank you. Alright, so... Tepig, you got anything? Yo, you got... I need leads on where Murkrow is. Who do I gotta talk to? No, I already talked to you guys. And I talked to the coffee. There's gotta be a tree somewhere. I'm missing some key evidence. Alright, maybe we go back to the nature... Oh, yeah, yeah, the nature side has Murkrow in it. Right, 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 because the cafe has Talo... Uh, the fountain area has Pidov, and the nature area has Starly and Murkrow in it. So that's the only clue that I have on where Murkrow could be. So we gotta go find some feathers, or something like that, I don't know. Gotta find you. Oh, this big old tree, yeah! Investigating the Murkrows, that's the thickest tree! Murkrow's nest could be up in this tree. Yeah, and it looks like no one's home. So, if we're going to investigate, I'll take a look. Let me know if it comes back. Right, gotcha. Pikachu's gonna climb that. Oh my! Yeah, okay! Quick time events. Good job! I made it. No sweat. That's the most fit Pikachu? Now, is there any kind of evidence to be found in here? Oh, here we go. Hey, Tim! Found something! Uh-oh. Is that... <laughs> Pikachu! It's Murkrow! Watch out! <laughs> oh, oh my gosh! Oh, no! I missed Pikachu! I'm not ready for that! Thanks for breaking my fall. Well, oh my gosh. Look, it's the evidence we need. Wow, what a miss. I don't like quick time events. Whose idea was that? Well, I broke his fall, but that's okay. Uh, yeah, it was worth it. Let's get right to comparing uh, it with our feather. I dropped Pikachu. It looks like we were correct. The black feather that we found at the scene definitely came from a Murkrow. <sighs> no, we're Wait, fine. It doesn't matter. Let's do an interrogation. <laughs> it's like, you're gonna win either way. All right, it was Murkrow. Yes, hard confirm. Whoa. It takes a shine to shiny right, objects. I get it. I'm sorry I entered your nest without asking. Anyway, you fought with Apom, right? Macrow! 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 You didn't, huh? Tim, why don't you show it what we found? That's right. This feather is yours, right? It was Lion next to the Apom that fainted. Yeah. Macrow! 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 All right, so it was you. I'm assuming you had your eye on the necklace. So, what did you do with it, huh? This is good. You lost it during the fight. That's a very lame excuse. Yeah. And now you're saying it was someone else. But, it seemed like you and Apom were the only ones that were there. You're saying Burmy were in that tree. Uh, well... Guess we'll check that out. Uh-huh. Right, right. Right, right. Okay, if we're to believe what Murkrow said, there were Burmy in the tree near the spot where Apom is lying down. We finally get to Murkrow, and now we're right back where we started? Uh, that's not true. We've learned some new facts. We've, uh, we're steadily approaching the necklace. Okay, so he's blaming him on the Burmy. Yeah, right. Yeah, right. What's a Burmy have to do with anything? It's the Murkrow. We caught you red-handed. Is this the tree that Murkrow was talking about with the Apom lying near it? It seems like no one's here. It's sure hard to tell just by looking at it. Let's shake it a little. Okay. <laughs> oh, hi, Burmy. Innocent and cheerful. Hi. Sorry if we startled you. There was a fight at this tree earlier, and we think a necklace may have fallen nearby. Know anything? Burmy, 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 Burmy. <laughs> okay. Well, thanks anyway. Sounds like Wait, Steven. Don't leave yet. There's some more stuff we'd like to ask. Burmy. I think they might be afraid. Well, they are jabbering about a ball flying around. A ball? Just two more questions. 
What happened after the fight? Did anyone else come around? Burmy, you better tell me. Sorry, can we just ask you a few questions? All right, tell me about the necklace, Burmy. You said you don't know anything. Uh, you know anything? Ah, so you remember there being a fight, but you don't know anything about the necklace. All right. What about the fight with Apom? Did you notice anything about the Apom and Murkrow? Nothing. Okay. Oh, one of your buddies got caught up in the fight? Oh, who's your buddy? So it ran away and hasn't come back? Oh, there's a missing Burmy. Okay, okay. Tell me about the ball. A black and white ball, That's and that's scary? They're, to <laughs> they're talking so fast, I'm not really following. Okay, so maybe it's uh, that Scraggy and the kid kicking a ball around. Burmy? And then launched one out of a tree. That's, that's the only thing that I could think of. Uh, hey, Tim, uh, they said one of the Burmies has yet to come back, right? It must have gotten caught up in something. Let's go look for it. Sure, but how? Well, according to the Burmie, it must be in some other tree. So maybe we find it by shaking trees? Yeah, that's right. Uh, we may also get eyewitness information. And don't forget about interviewing people. All right, shaking all the trees. Shake, shake, shake. Oh, wow, Pharaoh Seed? And it broke the concrete. Pharaoh Seed. Seed. <laughs> yeah, sure, buddy. Oh, it's Pharaoh Seed. Uh, it would have been rough if it hit us. Uh, I guess this works out. Well, let's speak with it. Okay, a necklace went missing near the tree. Uh, do you know anything about that? Oh, you saw that there was a fight and you didn't notice a necklace. Okay, what about the Burmy? You know about it? Uh, hey, are you listening? I see, it hasn't come this way. Okay, Pharaoh Seed literally broke the concrete floor. Okay, nothing there. That's not even a tree. All right, we're going to check out these trees. That's the Murkrow nest tree. I don't think any of these... Maybe. That's the Apom tree. How about you? No, I don't think it's these guys. But we'll, we'll check them out. Okay. Hey, you never know, man. You never know. All right, we are running. This is interesting. Things are getting... I think we're close to solving the mystery. Bow, bow, bow. Okay. Oh, that's Burmy again. Sorry, I've already talked to you about the ball. We do have to talk to Scraggy, though. And this dude in his pen. I have a feeling we're going to have to come back to that guy. Oh, another Pharisee? Come on, man. I've already asked this Pharisee. Somehow this Pharisee and the other Pharisee have the exact same answers? How to explain that? You! Okay, tell me about the Burmy that disappeared. If it's a runaway, uh, treat it nicely? No, it's nothing like that. So you haven't seen it? Okay, fine. Kid, did you kick the ball at a tree, knock a Burmy out? Huh, Pokemon about the size of Burmy went running towards the cafe, but somehow it didn't seem like Burmy. Tell me about the ball. Burmy seems to be afraid of the ball. No, actually, last night the ball hit one and broke its cloak. So that, ah, uh, thanks for, okay, so this kid kicked a ball at a tree, hit a Burmy, and broke his cloak. And we know Burmy, they have different cloaks, like a trash cloak, a sand cloak, a grass cloak, right? Those are the different colors of Burmy. Hmm, so maybe it did find trash. All right, old man. This tree looks suspicious. What? Any other trees? You, this tree. The final tree in the park. Hey, there we go. Good. Hey. Trash cloak. We found it. It's Burmy. Yup. Are you sure? Yeah. But this one looks a little bit different from the ones we just saw. Hey, can we talk to you for a second? Oh. Whoa, hey, Wormadam. Don't get close to Burmy. Why? What in the world are you talking about? Are you its guardians? We're not trying to eat it or anything. We happen to be looking for something, and we just want to talk to it. My questions have to be answered by you? I heard of being protective, but yeesh. Oh, well. Wormadam. All right, tell me about the necklace. Uh, it doesn't know anything about any quarrel, since it hasn't seen the necklace. Uh-huh. Uh, tell me about the Burmy that disappeared. Yep, yep. Is that that Burmy? Sure. 
Uh, that one was Trash Cloak, but Burmy or Burmy, right? If you say they're unrelated, let's talk to it directly. If there's no proof that it's involved in the incident, you won't let us talk to it? Mm, well, I picked up leaves at the scene of the crime, and that is the leaves that fell off the cloak. I have, I have it. Yo, this is proof that you were there. I'm way ahead of you. Judging from that reaction, there's definitely something uh, to that trash Burmy cloak. All right, let's see. If we could just talk to it directly. Yeah, so we have to find some proof that will satisfy the Wormadam. Let's gather info about the Burmy. No, 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 no. I have the leaves. I'm good, man. That's at the scene of the crime. Dude, I have the information. Let me at him. Fine. I'll talk to everyone again. Who do I have to talk to for that? I don't want to talk to these two. Maybe the monkey? The old man? Tell me, do you know about the Burmy? Oh, I'm glad you asked. I actually wanted to become a Pokemon professor in my younger days. You, you ready? Let me tell you about Burmy. Burmy incorporates things that are around it into its cloak. When it makes one, depending on the stuff that it incorporates into it, it can be one of three kinds. Plant, trash, or sandy. Good. There are three kinds of cloaks. Great. Yeah, tell me about the plant cloak. Yeah, it's made from leaves and grass. You can see that form in this park. Tell me about the sandy cloak. It's made from sand and dirt. You see lots of these in places like caves. And tell me about the trash cloak. Yeah, yeah, it's a cloak made of trash. You see them a lot downtown. Okay, like, I already have the information. Pikachu. Huh, I guess that means that. What's up? Hey, Tim, do you remember that blunt guy around the fountain? Let's ask him what time he lost his pen. What? All of a sudden? Yeah, don't worry about that. To the man by the fountain. Why would he have anything to do with anything? He's looking for a pen. Maybe he saw the trash cloak Burmy, or like the cloak get knocked off of a Burmy? What does a Burmy look like without its cloak? Okay. What do you know about Burmy? Nope. Pretty busy. Okay. Tell me about when you lost your f pen. Oh, well, what's this now? It was uh, last night. I was flustered when I was taking notes here, and I dropped it at that time. Do you know something about it? Nope, nothing like that. Thank you very much. The missing pen. The missing pen. And the busted cloak. I don't... What are you thinking, Pikachu? Pikachu, give me it. Wait, hold on. Bolt of brilliance! Okay, Pikachu, please put it together for me. What does the pen have to do with any of this? The missing pen. We will find it in Burmy's cloak! Uh, what's this about? Uh, we've heard that Burmy make their cloaks out of stuff around them. If a pen was lying near the Burmy with the busted cloak, let's go right now and check it out. I guess that makes sense. Baby. Hi. Yes, we're back. I'm sorry, but can we investigate your cloaks? Burmy. 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 What did they say, Pikachu? <laughs> They said no way they get ticklish. Watch out! Oh, nailed them! They look like little slugs? Uh, are they hurt? Sorry. Yo, he's he's got good aim. Okay. Hey, check it out. Yo, he's Looks three like for three. Right on. <laughs> That's great. What about the necklace? <laughs> Slow down. Get into that. A genius cannot be rushed. Wow, Pikachu. Hats off to you. I don't know how you figured that out. Just like this pen, there's a high chance that the necklace got incorporated into Burmy's cloak. But it didn't come out just now. Uh, is that one here? The trash cloak, Burmy. But that kid said the cloak was different, so it's unrelated. Yeah. Uh, there is some trick to it. Trash means cleaning, right? So there must be someone who knows about that. Let's ask around. Yeah, you're good at cleaning. Not the P-Dove. Okay, fine. I'll, I'll ask the P-Dove. By the way, are you McCoy? Okay, then Huey, how about George? Uh, no, then what's your name? You forgot it. What a ridiculous creature. I guess that old guy just calls you whatever he likes. We've uncovered the sad truth here. <laughs> Do you know anything about Burmy? Uh, yeah. Ask, but it asked me who Burmy is. Okay, so we're not learning anything. I'm actually trying to talk to this lady who's cleaning up stuff. What's wrong? Do you know anything about Burmy? Uh, the tree that Burmy lives in loses more leaves than the other trees, but there's something that's been on my mind. Oh yeah? What's on your mind? The trash disappeared. 
The trash can near the tree that Burmy lives in fell over at some point, but the contents have disappeared. Well, what happened? When I checked in the morning, the trash can was full of garbage, but the amount of loose trash after it tipped over was clearly less than what it had been earlier. Maybe someone tidied up. The APOM uh, was involved in a fight at that time, so I don't think anyone would have gone near it. Interesting. All right, now we collected some important information. Let's think about its cloak. Why did it become trash cloak form? Ooh, that's a good question. Why did it become trash cloak form? Interesting. I'm going to leave that question to you guys at home. All right. Lots of things happening over here. We're getting close to the very end. We've discovered Burmy. We found out what Burmy looks like without a cloak on. There's still the trash one. And this is a lot of like little clues over here. Find out what happens next on Detective Pikachu. Thanks for watching.